Okay, as you can see, we have our cupcakes now on our stand. You can use any old cake stand. This just happens to be one I picked up at the craft store. Um, but you can use uh, pillars and plates, separator plates, and you can use the different length pillars, and you can just put them down and cover it up with uh, fabric. If you're going to, you can even use um, boxes or different cans of different sizes um, with, with uh, boards, cardboard uh, cake boards on top. And if you've got fabric underneath, it doesn't matter, you're not going to see it. You just place it nicely around and you're not going to see it. Um, so we just put them on there with our cupcake liners. Uh, we also have um, our butterflies. Now, again, I have a couple of them that have, are on wires. And you don't want to stick wires into cakes. That's a no-no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with uh, florist tape. And I, again, I just pull the tape and I'm wrapping it around. And I'm using white tape because I really don't want to be able to see it. And the white will blend in with the icing. And just tape it all the way down. And then you want to use a drinking straw into your um, cupcake and then place the wire into that because you don't want the wire again into the cake that you're going to be eating. And of course, the person that gets that cupcake, you need to let them know there's a drinking straw in there. Okay, but um, I'm going to give it a little bit of a curve and have it over. over my cupcake here. One butterfly and then another one over here. Get that in. There we go. And then the other butterflies, I'm just going to go ahead and place actually on the cupcakes. They're rice paper, so they'll be okay. So just put a little frosting on here so he'll stick. And you can put it on the ones with the flowers if you want. And then I've got a nice big one down here. A little frosting. Got one more. Let's see if we can get him out. Okay.